A lot of people say how Veracity's ecosystem token called VRA at the price of 50 cents is crazy. They say it's ridiculous. But is it really? Because if VRA were to go to that price, right, you know, 50 cents, I get it. It's over 95 extra from here. But people often ignore the fact that the market cap it would have at that point, considering its current circulating supply, actually wouldn't be all that insane. I mean, market cap at that point would be around $5 billion. And are you kidding me, man? Going to just a $5 billion market cap approximately is already over a 95x from here? I mean, caray, boha. VRA, it's really a sleeping giant in my opinion. $5 billion in market cap may sound insane to some people, but it's not. Because you take a look at Dogecoin even as we speak right now. I'm not saying back in 2021. I'm not saying that. Currently, market cap is over $20 billion. So just imagine that. A $5 billion market cap, it's highly realistic. And I really do believe that Veracity is that special because you take a look at how Veracity, it's not just some random caca project. That's not the case. Because Veracity aims to bring trust and transparency to digital advertising and as well as payments. So I think that should be taken into consideration. And most notably, when it comes to the Veracity ecosystem, there is something called Veraviews, which I think is very amazing. Now, Veraviews is an open ledger advertising ecosystem that was built around Veracity's patented, by the way, proof of view fraud identification technology, which I get sounds very fancy. That's what she said. But here's the thing. Veracity even themselves claim that Veraviews is the most powerful, transparent, and auditable advertising ecosystem for preventing ad fraud based on open ledger principles, which sounds like a bunch of jargon, but here's where things get a lot simpler because we take a look at how Being focused on ad fraud is actually very amazing. You know, according to an article by Forbes, and in this article, they say how a study done by Juniper Research, you know, they estimate how by 2028, over $170 billion will be wasted due to ad fraud. I mean, that's insane. Clearly, ad fraud, you know, it's a major issue as of right now. And I think their views, they have their priorities straight, in my opinion. And keep in mind, the statistics, it's going to blow your hair back. I mean, some people may say, hey, man, Where's your hair? You know, I shaved it. But yeah, besides that point, it's for simplicity's sake. We take a look at how Veraviews only has a setup time of five minutes. I mean, that's insane. That's what she said. That's very fast. Now, that's a good thing, I guess, for the boom boom in the bedroom. Well, probably not, right? What am I saying, man? It's good for this. Not such a good thing for the boom boom in the bedroom, I suppose. But yeah, besides that point, it also has an accuracy rate of over 97%. Carajo, boha. If you know, you know. Also, on top of that, it's very easy to implement and very reliable as well, at least according to Veracity. But I'm going to take their word on it because I think, you know, they're that amazing. So when it comes to Veraviews, it's fundamentally fantastic. I think Veracity is really an A-plus project. That's the way I view it. Now, it doesn't end there because when it comes to the Veracity ecosystem, there's also something called the Vera Wallet. Now, when it comes to Veracity, catch this, right? They claim that Vera Wallet is one of the most secure wallets in the crypto ecosystem. A very bold claim, but, you know, I'm not going to debate them on that. I mean, come on, man, it's veracity after all. Now, we should also take into consideration how staking VRA, right, on the Vera wallet, you know, veracity claims that, you know, rewards can reach up to 15% per year, which is insane. I mean, caray, boha, that's very legendary. Now, there's over 300,000 Vera wallet users as of right now, which is a very impressive figure, over 600,000 community members, And also on top of that, over 20 language communities as well. And also, you know, Veracity has even been awarded six patents so far. And yeah, you heard that, right? Over six patents. That's how amazing they are. You know, over 20 language communities, you know, I practically make up like two of that or something like that, right? Portuguese, caray, boja, tudo bem, bom dia. And of course, English, English. I mean, come on, man. You know, I speak Portuguese as well. Segurança, durabilidade, estabilidade. You know, it's very good. But yeah, besides that point. I do believe that overall veracity, it's generally focused on the right thing. I mean, you take a look at how the global digital ad spending market size is expected to surpass $1 trillion by 2032, according to President's research. So that's how amazing veracity is. They're not just some random caca project that's focused on random nonsense. You know, sometimes a project out there, they're focused on some random, you know, carayo poja, like, I don't know, decentralizing the sale of farm equipment. It's like, who cares about that, man? We care about the real deal here. We care about veracity. You know, VRA, again, at the price of 50 cents, just like I mentioned earlier on the video, market cap wouldn't be too unrealistic. 
Also, on top of that, Bitcoin hasn't reached the price of $100,000 yet. You know, it hasn't reached 150000 right? So imagine once it does, people, they start taking profits. They start flowing into, you know, these relatively smaller projects. Man, the altcoin season, it's going to be insane, especially as of right now. Nearly 600 million crypto owners, according to Crypto.com research. That's more than ever before in history. The potential FOMO could be insane during the peak of this spore run. I mean, really, when I take all of those factors... VRA at the price of 50 cents isn't insane in my opinion. And of course, my buying strategy is and always will be the same. That's dollar cost averaging. Anytime I earn income, I acquire my favorite cryptocurrencies, I hold, and I just wait for the peak at the bull run. That's it. No day trading, no using leverage, no swing trading, none of that. And I'm going to stay patient because the peak of the altcoin season, right? It typically doesn't happen anywhere until usually, historically speaking, 6 to 18 months after a Bitcoin halving event. Bitcoin having event, of course, happened back in April. So six to 18 months from April is potentially the time frame we're looking at. But again, no matter the time frame, I'm going to continue to dollar cost average into VRA because I do believe that hypothetically, it could go to the price of 50 cents during the peak of this spore run. 18 months, worst case scenario after April may sound like a long time, but hey, if I can accumulate, you know, something that I love and I have more time to do so, why not? At least that's the way I take a look at it. Again, 50 cents wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. Karai boha. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also on top of that, make sure to check out this very fantastic video. Thank you all. I really love it. It's been Lee the Captain. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.